John is going to the amusement park with James and Monica. The entry ticket for the park is rupees 22 per person. How can John find the total amount he has to pay to buy three tickets? John has to add 22 plus 22 plus 22 to get the total amount to be paid for the tickets. This is nothing but repeated addition. Can you recall another way to solve this problem? We know that repeated addition is the same as multiplication. John can solve the same problem by multiplying 22 with 3. 3 times 22 is 66. John and his friends decide to have a glass of juice before enjoying their rides. Each juice costs rupees 10 and they buy 3 glasses of juice. How much do they have to pay for the juices? They should pay 3 into 10 or rupees 30 for the juices. Let us look at some more multiplication sums where one or both numbers are multiples of 10. 10 into 2 is equal to 20. Ten into four is equal to forty. Hundred into eight is equal to eight hundred. Twenty into twenty is equal to four hundred. Three hundred into four is equal to one thousand two hundred. Do you observe any pattern here? When we multiply numbers with multiples of 10, we multiply both numbers without zeros and then add the total number of zeros in the product. The kids now want to take tickets for the rides. Each ride costs rupees 24 and they decide to take 12 rides. How can they find the total cost of the rights? They need to multiply 24 with 12. Here, we have to multiply two two-digit numbers. Let us first do it using a graph paper. The number 24 has two tens and four ones. The number 12 has one ten and two ones. So, on the horizontal side, to represent the first number, we mark a point after 20 squares and another after 4 squares. Now, on the vertical side, make a point after 10 squares and another after 2 squares. Extend lines from all these points till the lines intersect and form 4 rectangles. Now, count the number of square in each rectangle. The first rectangle has 20 squares across and 10 squares down. So, it has a total of 20 into 10 or 200 squares. The second rectangle has 20 columns and 2 squares in each column. So, the total number of squares is 20 into 2 is 40. The third rectangle has 10 rows with 4 squares in each row. So, there are 4 into 10, 40 squares. The fourth rectangle has squares in 4 columns and 2 rows. So, there are 4 into 2. 8 squares. We now add these numbers by writing them vertically one below the other. We start by adding from the ones place. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 8. 
we move to the tens place. 0 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Adding at the hundreds place, we get 2. So, the product of 24 into 12 is equal to 288. Let us verify this using another method called the lattice method. For this, draw a square and draw two lines joining the midpoints of the opposite sides. Now, draw a diagonal across each of these four smaller squares. Let us begin by writing one number on the top and another on the right side as shown. Let us look at this square. We write the tens part of the number here and the ones part here. We start by multiplying two numbers which match up for a box. So, here 4 into 1 is 4. We write 4 in the 1's position and 0 in the 10's position. We now move to the next square and multiply 4 and 2. 4 into 2 is 8. We write 8 in the 1's position and 0 in the 10's position. Now, moving to the next square, 2 into 2 is 4. We again write 4 in the 1's position and add 0 in the 10's position. Moving to the last square, 2 into 1 is 2. We write 2 in the 1's position. Now, we have to add across the diagonals. We start from this side. Since 8 is the only number here, we write 8 below. Across the next diagonal, we add 4 plus 0 plus 4, which is 8. Moving to the next diagonal, 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 2. And in the last diagonal, we have a 0. We read the numbers across the L formed to get the answer which in this case is 288. Interesting, isn't it? Same numbers multiplied using two different methods. On their way out, John and his friends buy some souvenirs. They buy 18 items and have to pay 45 for each item. To find the total amount they need to pay in the souvenir shop, we have to multiply 18 with 45. Let us use the lattice method. For this, we draw a square and then divide it into four equal boxes. Now, we draw a diagonal across each of these four smaller squares. Let us begin by writing the number 45 here and the second number 18 on the right side. Let us look at this square. As you know, we write the tens part of the number here and the ones part here. We start by multiplying two numbers which match up for a box. So, here 5 into 1 is 5. We write 5 in the 1's position and 0 in the 10's position. We now move to the next square and multiply 5 and 8. 5 into 8 is 40. We write 4 in the 10's position and 0 in the 1's position. Now, moving to the next square, 4 into 1 is 4. We again write 4 in the 1's position and add 0 in the 10's position. Moving to the last square, 4 into 8 is 32. We write 3 in the 10's position and 2 in the 1's position. Now, we have to add across the diagonals. 
we start from this side. Since 0 is the only number here, we write 0 below. Across the next diagonal, we add 5 plus 4 plus 2, which is 11. We write 1 down and carry forward 1 to the next diagonal. Moving to the next diagonal, 0 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8. And in the last diagonal, we have a 0. We read the numbers across the L formed to get the answer, which in this case is 810. So, the kids have to pay rupees 810 for the souvenirs.